welcome to another from Plays and Games. Today I'll be introducing you to one of my favorite card games and that's Monopoly D. So like uh, you might know the Monopoly board game, it's related to that, just that it's cards. Uh, so yeah. So and uh, in the card set you'll find two joker cards. So here I've gotten two joker cards. Well, they'll have the same image on both sides. And you'll have four of these rule cards. So this is an example of a rule card. So you give one to each player. Okay. So to start the game, you have to start. You have to start by giving five cards to each player. Guys. So once I'm done giving five cards to each player, I picked up my card, and this is what I have. So I have property cards. So I'm gonna put them here. One, two. And uh, I think I'll put the debt collector in my bank to add some money. So like there are basically three types of cards. There are reaction cards, the property cards, and the money cards which we don't have right now. And money cards always go in the bank no matter what. Okay. And uh, or uh, yeah, and you can also play action cards over here. But the only uh, but you can't play. You can only play double the rent with a rent card. Like suppose the other players play, I'm gonna play one, two, double the rent. So like basically the rent for yellow is two million, and I'm doubling it four million. So the rent is four million. Everyone has to pay me four million. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. So yeah. After we're done with like the uh, setup of the game and the how an ongoing game looks like, I'm gonna be showing you some examples of action cards. So the first one is it's my birthday. You play in the center, and everyone has to give you a two million birthday gift. This is a like rent card. Basically, you play it in the center, and then, uh, for example, you're asking for yellow. Then you play it in the center, and all the players will pay you like according to the amount of prop, like yellow property cards you have. So, like, for example, you have two yellow property cards. It'll tell you how much. Um, Rent, like how much it's worth on the card. This is a hotel card. You put it on a full set, so to increase the rent value, and you can also keep it in the bank. This is a forced deal. You place it in the center, and then you can exchange your property card for another from any player in the game. But you can't get it from a full set. This is a. Uh, this is um. A rent card again. This side is a different color. This is house. You play again. Place it on top of a full set, and it has four million rent value. But the difference between house and hotel is that house is three million. Uh, like it's worth three million, and the hotel is worth four million. The uh, this is another uh, rent card. So you basically place it in the center. You can ask for any of these colors, but you can only force one player. Or like on the other card, uh, like with two colors, you can force all players. So this is debt collector. You place it in the center, and you uh, uh, like you, you um, ask the player of your choice to pay you, um, you know, three million. This is deal breaker. You place it in the center, and you can steal a full set from a player. This is pass go. Uh, so you place in the center and you can pick up two cards. So I'm gonna just pick that up. Okay. This is just say no. Oops. This is just say no. You uh, you play it whenever action is played against you. For example, someone plays a deal breaker on you. You don't have to wait for your turn. You can immediately play just say no, and you won't have to give him the like. Uh, full set. This is double the rent. So, like, basically, you play it with a rent card, and in real, like, it doubles the rent the rent card is asking for. This is slide deal. Unlike force deal, you steal a property card, uh, but not from a full set. Now that we're done with the in initial setup of the game, the like uh, how ongoing game looks like, and um, uh, how uh, some action cards. I'm gonna be showing uh, you some money cards. So like, there's a one million in the game. There's a two million in the game. There's a three million. There's a four million. A five million and a ten million. But remember that there's only one ten million in the game. 
so make sure so like the person who uh, uh, has uh, like the person who has the 10 million is super lucky and rich but there are multiple of these cards in the game so yeah and remember to keep a cover for the 10 million like keep some other money in the bank so that people don't take it because there's no change in this game so for example they ask you rent for 1 million and you only have 10 million you give the 10 million to them uh, like you give them 9 million extra and they don't pay you back so yeah um i guess that's all for this video i hope it was uh, helpful and you enjoyed bye and see you in the next video